guys and welcome to today's video. Today we are doing a decluttering video because if you did see my makeup collection which is up here and down below you would have seen that I have quite a cluttered collection. It's getting to the point where I do have old makeup like old makeup. I can't even donate it. It's that old. It's nasty. But I'm a hoarder and I have trouble with letting go with makeup that I bought with my own money which is all of it. So today we're going to be quite cutthroat and we're gonna get rid of quite a lot of makeup and it's gonna break my heart but I know I have to do it but I suppose I'm plus hard I can buy new makeup. Anyway follow me around and come declutter some makeup with me. The first draw I will be attempting to declutter is my lipstick drawer. This is quite overly full right now. So this is the current situation we have everything in here. I've got This is my all-time favourite lipstick from Colourpop, but it is mangled, so... I... I do think I'll keep all of these AOA and Colourpop because they're all pretty good and they're all relatively newer, so nothing wrong with those. container looks like so far so I have 14 lipsticks in here which is actually pretty good it's not too bad at all so I'm pretty proud of myself for that one. For drawer number two we're looking at all these guys here. Back I really don't use these elf ones enough I will keep these two though because I do like one of each of the colors um I'll throw this uh, that's actually kind of nice I don't use it um, these Maybelline colours, I think they're actually all dried up. Yeah, dried up. I just got rid of I've got rid of two of the Maybellines an elf two Colourpop products because they're dried up another essence the LA girl one a freedom highlighter oh that packaging it looks so pretty on the outside but it's such a crappy highlighter gone the elf strobing highlight this is the worst thing I've ever used I don't even know I kept it um an elf oh, bronzer which is just ugh Two of the Milani products, I got rid of these two, and this $1 bronzer from one of my latest videos, which was also pretty horrendous. and bronzing quad or something like that. It just has no pigment and I really don't like it. Um, yep. I got rid of the CoverGirl eyeshadow quad, mainly because this is actually quite old. It is super pigmented though, like it's insane, but ooh, should I keep that there? I just remember the wear time being really short. Oh, it's gone. I got rid of this sleek highlighting palette. This has really good reviews on it. It's just I don't like the idea of like the creams, so three of them are cream, so no. And I got rid of this model's prefer giant eyeshadow palette. So this next drawer actually contains a lot of my new products that I have still testing out, so I can't really get rid of anything in this section. Ooh. Yeah, I haven't used it. I am getting rid of are this elf 
uh, this is like the cord concealer. I just don't like it, the consistency. It's kind of old too. I'm also getting rid of the Essence All I Need concealer palette because I just have better concealers now and it's just, yeah. <laughs> I got rid of this $1 eyebrow pencil. It was good for $1. It just, I have better ones now as well. Um, this, was it Elf? Elf eyebrow pencil. It, um, I got rid of some empties. These are actually just empties. This is the Essence Make Me Brow. I have my Anastasia one as well and my Maybelline one, which uh, there's nothing wrong with those products at all. I've already used them up, so I don't want to keep the packet in the hair. That's gross. Um, another product I'm throwing away or getting away is the Essence eyebrow gel. And I have this eye crayon thing from like eBay, which is gross. That's what the pile looks like right now. It's actually, I'm very happy with how I'm going so far. Not bad at all. On to this section here. I have my all my concealers, mascaras, and like liquid eyeshadows and stuff like that. Automatically, I'll be keeping these two. Um, I don't really use these anymore, but they're kind of expensive, so I don't want to throw those out. things I will be throwing out are the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer, I just don't think it has enough coverage. The AOA Studios White Concealer, actually I might put this in my special effects drawer because it's white so that'll come in handy later. Um, this is the Ciate Wonder Wand, Wonderland? Wonder Wand Mascara. I used it up actually, is it an empty? It's not like I'm throwing it away. So I'll go in the empties pile. This one dried up before I could even use it, it's a Tarte Mini. Um, the Fit Me Concealer. I have two of the Glitter in the Air liquid metallic eyeshadow things. I've never used them and probably never will. I finished up the Benefit Real, their Real Mascara. This is just a mini because I take it troubling and I've already used it up. And the last thing is this eye primer by CNT. I think it was a $1 one. Next up we have some eyeliners and lip liners, stuff like this. So I'll start with this one. lip liner ever um, but it's broken and it's discontinued this is Frida I think it is or skimpy this is skimpy by Colourpop so I'm gonna keep it but if you wouldn't mind if you have any recommendations for a similar lip color to this let me know down below I have the Essence Gel Eyeliner. This is the white one. Another Essence brown one. Essence again. Uh, Australis Lip Liner. Essence. I have the Colourpop one. Um, and I have a Essence and a Savvy. So they're all going. On to foundations. This is my foundation section right here. Uh, I'm getting rid of my L'Oreal True Match because it is old. These are all just old products, so I can't even give them away to anybody. I have the e.l.f. serum. This is actually not old, it's just really crap. Um, I have both the Maybelline BB creams. They're very old, they're like three years, and I hate this one in particular because it smells like curry, but like on your face. So next we have my primers and illuminating section. Ah, uh, so I can get rid of this. I did get rid of are the NYX uh, Liquid Illumina. This is like Born to Glow. We've got this Fifth Avenue uh, color correcting primer. It doesn't color correct and it doesn't really prime. And I have its ELF Illuminator and this Essence Glitter in the Air. Both. Thank you so much for watching today's video guys. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and don't take this video to heart at all. This is makeup I brought with my own money and most of it is very old and gross as you can see by a lot of the products in today's video. So don't judge me too badly on being a whore. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Bye.